Hello and welcome back to my channel. This was the beginning of my second full day in Jerusalem. Yesterday I was awake before the sunrise, which was so beautiful. The sun rose right over the Mount of Olives. I had to capture it on video today, so here it is. I'm looking east from my hotel room on the fourth floor of the Notre Dame Jerusalem Center. You can see a tall building on the horizon on the right-hand side of the frame. That is the bell tower on the Ascension Monastery, which is a Russian Orthodox church dedicated to the Ascension of Jesus. The Dome of the Ascension, which we saw in an earlier episode, and is where many Christians believe the Ascension took place, is not far from this bell tower, only about 200 meters. My first stop today is the Temple Mount, the holiest place on earth for Jewish people. The Mount has significance in Christianity too, both of historical significance as well as eschatological significance. The Mount also has extreme significance to Muslims. To get to the Temple Mount, you have 10 routes if you are Muslim. If you're not, you have a single option. At the main southern entry to the Western Wall Plaza, you will pass through metal detectors and have your backpack or handbags scanned, similar to an airport. The whole process takes just seconds and is very efficient. But if you're going to the Temple Mount, you'll see the entry at the far right, which leads to a wooden walkway after passing through security. There are some lockers just before the security if you need to lock up your Bible or any religious material or anything that could be used as a weapon. I've heard of people not being allowed to take even small tripods inside. So my recommendation is to travel very lightly if you're headed up to the Temple Mount. As is the case in many places in Jerusalem, there is also a dress code for both men and women. Here is the Western Wall. In the distance, you can see the men's portion of the wall. In the foreground, just in front of those umbrellas, is the women's section. This is a very orthodox synagogue, so women and men are separated. Once at the top, you'll walk by more security and then you exit right onto the Temple Mount near the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the southwest part of the Temple Mount. This is a view looking back from where I entered onto the Temple Mount. The name of the gate that I walked onto the Temple Mount through, which is the gate that all non-Muslims must enter by, is called the Morocco Gate. And once on the Temple Mount, the first thing in front of you are a bunch of ruins that are on display, uh, which is seen here. They're in between the, the Morocco Gate and the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The dome building is the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third most holy site in the whole world to Muslims. The two most significant buildings that are currently on the Temple Mount are the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, 
which we will see up close soon. The interiors of both of these buildings are off limits to non-Muslims, although anyone is free to visit the Temple Mount and explore the exteriors of these buildings. And this is the entry to the mosque. This is the side of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The gold-domed building is the Dome of the Rock, which is not a mosque, but rather a shrine. No one knows for sure the exact location of the Jewish temple, but the Dome of the Rock is the traditional location. There are, however, at least 20 other proposed locations of Solomon's Temple. A second potential location is a little farther south, just outside into the west of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which we saw earlier, very near to the point where we entered the Temple Mount. Underneath the Dome of the Rock lies the Foundation Stone, where Abraham attempted to sacrifice his son before God intervened. The Dome of the Rock is the oldest surviving Islamic architecture in the world. The dome was built in the year 1022 after the original one, which had been built in 692, had collapsed. These stairs lead to the eastern side of the Temple Mount, which is undeveloped. The Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, as well as the probable location of Solomon's Temple, are all on the western side of the Temple Mount. But I wanted to explore the area around the Golden Gate, 
which has been walled up for many centuries. This is the gate Jesus entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, and is the gate by which he will enter Jerusalem at his second coming. This is the oldest gate of Jerusalem and was built by King Solomon. Gates of Jerusalem are not just where metal bars swung open and closed and allowed people and animals entry and exit from the city. They were entire buildings where business transactions took place, marriages were arranged, and criminal trials took place. Very interestingly, this gate, the Golden Gate, is mentioned in the Old Testament in the Jewish Tanakh in Ezekiel 44, verse 2. Quote, The Lord said to me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened, and no one shall enter by it. For the Lord God of Israel has entered by it. Therefore, it shall be shut. End quote. The interior of the Golden Gate is open to Muslims as a prayer site. I wanted to see how close I could get. But after walking down those stairs, you will see places where Muslims can do ritual cleaning. This says in Arabic, God forgive me. Some of the other sayings here are, Thank God, remember Allah, Allah is the greatest, and ask the prophet. This is looking backwards towards the route that I came down the stairs. Down below is the Golden Gate. Please notice the two domes on top of the gate. There weren't that many people here today, just a few guards. I snuck around to the left of the gate and found some stairs that went up to the top. It looked like the stairs were fenced off at one point, prohibiting people from walking up to the top of the Golden Gate. But the fence was not very well maintained and it was pretty easy to walk through it, so I did hoping to get some good videos or photos from the top of the Golden Gate. I did manage to carefully walk up the stairs on top of the Golden Gate, which was very scary since there were no handrails on the left-hand side. Clearly, I wasn't supposed to be here, but I went with it anyway. Once on top, about a minute later, I was walking around those two domes that I mentioned before, right above the point where Jesus entered the city. And I had my camera out and ready to grab some videos of the excellent views from atop the Golden Gate. When I heard a loud shout from someone down below saying, hello. And then right after that, they shouted down. So I think they were talking to me. So, unfortunately, I didn't get any videos from on top of the Golden Gate, but I did get to see it, and then I promptly went back down those scary stairs. Uh, there was no incident after I got down. It was just that they didn't want me up there. Thanks for watching.